if you've been subscribed to me for a while now, you guys know that my first YouTube video was this video. I am bald because... 2,000 years later. Guys, this your boy tomorrow watching. Back to Bro, no, let's no, get straight no, to no, it. Oh my mama, we lit. Come and get your bitch, she got me losing my mind. She said she wanna be my wife. She said she want me deeper inside. But I'm the type of nigga that's gonna drop your pride. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tamari, and I am back with another banger for y'all today. <laughs> Before, I mean, as you can see in the title, in the thumbnail, I am going to be explaining the real reason why I am bald. So before this video even starts, can we just take five seconds out of our day to go down and hit the like button? It's so easy. I'm just hoping that you guys can do that just for me while I explain the real reason why I'm bald. So before I even get into the real reason why I'm bald, I want to say, um, I want to start off by saying my YouTube channel. So if you've been subscribed to me for a while now, you guys know that my first YouTube video was this video. And I know a lot of people are thinking like, why are you remaking it then? And if you go onto my page, you'll see that I have no more videos up all my videos are gone wanted to restart my youtube channel um let's start at when i first started losing care so i think i was like seven eight or nine and uh my parent we as a family were going through some things and my parents you know got divorced and at a young age it caused me to start thinking, overthinking, and, uh, that was, like, that's, like, that's, like, the main part of it, is it's, like, my parents going through some things, and they end up getting divorced, and that had me thinking, like, and at the, at the young age, I didn't know what was gonna happen, like, was I only gonna see my mom, was I only gonna see my dad, you know, was I, um, you know, I, I just had a lot of thoughts. So, like, <clears throat> because anyways it goes, I knew I was going to be okay. Like, that caused me to have hair losses because I was, like, after they got divorced, I was just thinking a lot. They were just, and, like, I think the first time my hair fell out, it was just, like, I was just, like, so confused. It's like, what's going on? It's like, I don't know. Went to the doctors, and they told me that I got a disease called alopecia. Like, oh, like, for real. This is for real. Got a disease called alopecia. And like, <clears throat> this wasn't probably, this probably wasn't the best, you know, it probably wasn't the best, best experience. Be a pleasant experience because, oh, in middle school, like, elementary school was cool. Pleasant experience because, you know, I, once I got into, like, Middle school, you know, it was like, dang. You feel me? Like, it was people coming up to me. They were smacking my head, you know. And, of course, like, those times, you know, I knew that they were playing. So, like, I wasn't really trying to fight anyone. No. I wasn't scared of fighting anyone, no. <clears throat> if you had a problem with me, then just let me know. Now, the people who were smacking my head and doing this you and that, you know, I knew that they were playing, so, like, I didn't really, like, I didn't really take it too serious, but I just let them know who was, you know, much, you know? Smacking my head, trying to roast me. Those are niggas who was corny, too. Niggas, what you just said just was not funny, though. You hear me? <coughs> and, like, like, it wasn't, it just wasn't a pleasant experience, you feel me? Like, in middle school, it was a lot of bullying, you know? 
It was just simple as that. It was just a lot of booze and all the people trying to be trying to be funny. Shit wasn't funny though. And you know, after a while, it started coming to that point when, nigga, you touch me again, I'ma fuck you up. Simple as that. Excuse my language. Because at that point, it was like, bruh. At this point, it's just it's just you touching on me. The shit. First off, the shit's not funny, and then second off, my nigga, like I, we gonna end up scrapping. Like, it's not. It's and, and they just took it as a joke. So what I should have did was just drop kick all of this, but you know, it's just me. And if you know who I actually am, you know that I'm I'm like I'm super chill. You know, I don't really. You know, I'm not really into all that like fighting people. That change, that's gonna change. That has changed, and it's going to continue, continue to say the same as. Forget that. You keep on messing with me, it's gonna be over. Yeah. So anyway, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't really. You know. You know. Besides that, high school was fun. I think middle school I had the best days. It was just so fun. Middle school was just. I mean, elementary school was just so fun. Middle school was like. The times when I used to get bullied all the time. School was like the time when I used to always get bullied. And then like high school was like the times when it was just like chill. You know, not a lot of people were doing it. And it was because high school I stopped playing with people. Like I stopped playing around with people. It wasn't that. You know, it was still happening though. But it wasn't happening as often. And then we went into online school. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow, how are you doing now? I'm fucking perfect. I first did this video on my like my first time creating this channel. <clears throat> I showed you guys what my hair looked like, buddy. So then, you know, I started getting made fun of it a little bit, but it was okay because you know I didn't really care. You know, it was it's you once you get made fun of a lot. Like that was my first time, so you know I took it personal. You know, I was like. Why would you even say something like that? Like, there's actually no point. Like, what if I do this? As you know, I'm a winner. All right, so then, um, I got into sixth grade, and most of the people from Mott Hill went to Denny, so I was okay. You know, I hang out with the people that were from Denny, you know, and I was cool with everybody. But really, I the newcomers that I did not know. They were, why are you bald? Why do you look like that? You're so, you know, and I, you know, and I, that was like a couple, you know, like whenever you get, you know, made fun of for like, for like a couple of, you know, years, you, I mean, for my first year getting made fun of, no, my two years getting made fun of because I got third and then I got a sixth. And those were when I, I took it in so personal, I just wanted to cry. But, you know, I, you know, I kept it, I kept it in, you know, I was just like, it's whatever. So then, you know, a lot of people made fun of me. A lot of people wanted to touch my head. I didn't like it. I didn't like it, you know. So, like this, they have to stuck. Wait a minute. Stop. And like, I'm a show but now I have pictures of actually what I actually look like. So I'm gonna just show you guys the pictures right here of me when I was a kid. And then like, actually like, when my hair first started falling out, I had patches everywhere. Like it was doom, 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 doom. doom. And, like actually, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but like I got some hair. Right here, you feel me? But it was worse than this, than this, because I had hair here, 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 and then just bald, just like I had a whole bunch of bald spots. So like it was like hair everywhere, but just with bald spots everywhere, and it was like horrible. I used to tell my mom like, I used to tell my mom like, mom like. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, this is like, this is bad. And I used to tell him, like, because I would go to the barber and he used to cut my hair down super low to the point where it all blends in. So, like, it just looked like I had, like, really, really short hair. 
And then after a while, my mom was like, you know, and there was, after a while, my mom was like, you know, like, we got to cut this all off. And it, it came out like this. It was like, okay. And for a little bit, you know, it was like, I had those moments. You feel me? Like, even, even when going into um, <clears throat> elementary school, in elementary school and even high school, there was times when I was just like, man, I wish I had hair. The times that I was getting bullied, the times, you know, <sighs> the times I felt insecure about myself. And like, everybody has those times when they feel insecure about themselves. And I just learned to go out of that. Like, this is who I am. I'm forever going to be bald. Unless I, I choose to change that. And like, I have no problem being bald. At first I did, I have no problem being like bald. Like, this is just who I am. Everybody knows me as this. If I get here, it's gonna be like, dang, like, you're just, you feel me? Like, the reason why I want to stay bald is because I'm not normal. I wouldn't be called, I'm not no normal person. She says you wanna be my wife. She says you want me deeper. I'm not normal. Not everybody's bald at 16. Like, if they are bald, you feel me? Their hair grows back. My hair don't grow back. But I'm just, a, I'm, I'm a whole, I'm a different person. Me and other people are not the same. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm different. I'm a little different. I like that. You know, people like, because if I was to be like, I don't know, with my hair back, I would go get my hair. And then you're be like, hmm? I'm a normal, I'm not, I'm not a normal person. I'm different. I'm different from everyone. <laughs> And, you know, it's going to come to those times when, you know, and everybody has those times when they just, they feel so insecure about themselves that they don't want to do this and that. And I used to think like that because not only, not only am I bald, but I'm a bald person and I have like birthmarks everywhere. Like my, my whole thing is like full of birthmarks. And the worst thing about it is, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I have it. I hope y'all can see this. But I have it in the back of my head. And I think like that's, that's like, that's the only thing I don't like is that the birthmark then grew as I grown. So like it's in the back of my head now. And it's just there. And I don't like that. You uh, First, if you didn't get what I said, basically, I am bald because I have a disease called alopecia, which is caused by stress. And I was stressing because my parents got divorced. And at a young age, it caused my hair to start falling out. So my, my, my all my hair fell out. And now I look like this. And, but at first, it was just falling out at times. Now, I shaved it all off, and it's never coming back. Like, it comes back, you feel me? Like, I still got patches up here. But, not anymore. Life is good, you know? Now, life is good, you know? I, I like I like how, my, how I'm living my life right now. Just having their life. But, like, what everybody should look for in their life is, like, what makes you happy? Like, who makes you happy? And, you know, it's not even about who makes you happy. It's just those times when, you know, even if it's just, even if it's your friend, your girlfriend, you know, anybody. You know, anyone who checks up on you and makes sure that you're okay every day, you know, those are like the best people, you know. Those are the best people, the people who care for you, the people who actually want to see you and make sure that you're doing well, doing okay. And, you know, those are like the best people. And, you know, especially when you're going through hard times and, you know, and they'll, you know, they'll call you and be like, are you okay? Like, are you good? You know, how's your life going? How was your day? Anyways. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you guys like. If you guys like this video, please do. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys could relate to this video, even if you guys just watch this video, can you guys just please do, just, just do me one favor? Can you guys please do me one favor and leave a like? Like, please. Like, that, like, that would really, like, That'll make my day. And you just leave one like. Just one like. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys leave a like.
comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so whenever I post, y'all are the first ones to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just to let you know, there is more bangers coming on the way. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's your boy Tamari. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis Chop out the top, head of the limits I got some cash, I wanna spend it New baby tag, didn't wanna rent it Too many fads, too many bitches Roll my slime, get in my lizard Ready to slide, you a good slugger